Hi, this is Jordan Fessler at Variant Studios in Old Town, Fort Collins, Colorado, and today I'm going to show you something cool. Hi, this is Jordan Fessler from Variant Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook business page. To create a page, you will need a personal account, so I'm going to assume that you already have one. Here's the home page of my own personal account. There are three ways to create a Facebook page. You can either scroll all the way down on your news feed and click this link, create a page, or search for a page that you know already exists. There's a create a page button on the top right and underneath this profile picture on the left sidebar, there is a create a page link. All these ways will give you the same results when you're creating your page. So let's click this create a page on the left sidebar. And once you do, you'll go to the starting place. There are six different types of pages that you can choose from. The two most popular to choose from for business are local business or place and company, organization, or institution. Local business or place is a great choice if you have an actual storefront or office where people come in to visit you. All you got to do is select your category, type in your name of the business or place, and your address. Agree to the Facebook terms and press get started. The other option is company, organization, or institution. This is the type of option that you would choose if you do not have a storefront or a place where people usually visit you like the local business or place. I'm going to choose the category computers and technology and then name your company. Make sure you click this agree to Facebook terms or else you will not be able to continue and press get started. This next page is fairly new. It's a three-step process. The first thing that you'll want to do is upload an image, or you can import a photo from your website. I don't have a website ready for you, so I'm going to just show you with our Variant Studios website. Press Import, and you'll see that Facebook will upload some photos for you straight from your website. It chooses what they think might work. There are five images here, so you can scroll through and pick one. But none of these really relate to what I want to use or do, so I'm going to press cancel and upload my own image. The image dimensions are 200 pixels wide by a max of 600 pixels tall. So that is what I'm going to choose right now. I'm going to put in the max picture from my desktop. I already created this in Photoshop, so it's ready to use. Press open. And there's my picture. Now you could always use smaller images that aren't exactly 600 pixels tall, but I prefer this new look. Now press continue. And the second step is inviting friends. So you could either press this invite friends button and choose a few friends that you wish to invite to your new page and press submit. You could also import contacts from customers or subscribers that you currently have. You can do this by choosing either your Hotmail address, a Yahoo address, etc. So to do this, press Find Friends, enter in your email, and click Find Contacts. There are also these two boxes at the bottom. The first box at the bottom allows you to choose if you'd want to share this page information on your wall once you create it. If you want to do this, you can include a message like say, check out my new page. But for now, I'm not going to do this. The second box is liking your own page. I recommend doing this so that way you can start off with at least one like. Click continue. The third step is filling out your basic info. Enter in a website if you have one. If you do not, you can simply click no website but I do have one, so I'm going to create and put in my website. 
And then talk a little bit about what your company is about. You could always go back and edit this, so don't worry too much about this right now. And if at any time, if you want to skip any of these three steps, you could press this little skip button here. But I'm going to go ahead and press continue. And now you are on your home page. Up at the top, they'll ask you con to confirm your page category. And this is already what I want, so I'm going to press update category. But if it wasn't, just click these down arrows and you can change it that easily. Update category and it'll show that your page has been updated successfully. People will now be able to search for you and find you and add you as a like or a follower, etc. And the page you're on right now is the Get Started page. It's not your wall yet, so your fans will not be able to see this, only you. This is just to get you to still invite friends or import contacts, post update, and I'll talk more about this in advance in the next tutorial. So let's go to your wall and you're ready to start posting. Thank you for listening to this tutorial on how to create your own business page. Stay tuned for more advanced tutorials on Facebook in the near future. Thanks for watching this video today. I hope you got something useful out of it and please stay tuned for more videos to come. What are you still doing here? Why are you still here? The tutorial's over. You should probably go and try it out now. All right, well, I'm, I'm gonna go.